You're on Roads to Adventure, and we're on US 90A in Texas, about an hour east of San Antonio in Gonzales. Come and take it is the saying in Gonzales, a saying that originated back before Texas was a state, and perhaps the reason Texas is a state. Plus, we visit a haunted theater that is getting ready to reopen to the public, plus a lot more. But first things first, we stopped by the Gonzales Economic Development Corporation and spoke with Susan Sankey, the director, with more about Gonzales. My name is Susan Sankey. I grew up in the community, value what it means to live here and the people who have pride. It's a community that's really deeply rooted in its history and trying to be the best we can, honor the past. We have a unique history here, but also focus on the future. Susan was super helpful in letting me know about a lot of things in Gonzales. There is tons of history, tons of historic buildings to see, and lots to do. However, she did insist on us going to jail first and get a tour from a former resident of the jailhouse. Hello, my name is Sandra Wolf. I'm taking you around to see my world, which is the Gonzales County Jail Museum. I've been the manager, the director here to develop the museum. And I hope you come to visit us. We have stories, we have facts, we have so much to show you. It's gonna be fun. Who doesn't like to know about prohibition? What makes everybody that I know cry is that they poured out 5,000 bottles of beer in the front curb. Uh, those are the 10 sheriffs that serve this building. This one right here is my dad. He was sheriff for 18 years. Really? And we lived in the jail for 10 of those. Since I was just six, I kind of grew up in jail. And the building is the museum. Everything it held is, are the stories that make it interesting. And so that's what we're trying to, to keep alive. This is the jailer's room. Okay, this is the dungeon. This is also known as an attitude adjustment chamber. It is total sensory deprivation in there. It doesn't take even 30 minutes to change attitudes. It's not a pleasant place. My dad locked me up here with the prisoner one time. What did you do? Yeah, that's why my book is called Cherry Pie Jailbird. Well, I told him I could get the first piece of cherry pie before he could. He proved me wrong because he locked me up. Oh. I don't really believe in ghosts as a spook hanging around. Uh, I don't really know what to think about some of the things I've seen and heard, but I'm not scared. It's a cool place. I love it. After our release from jail, we had to go to court, and we got a tour from the judge. I'm the Gonzales County judge, and I'm in my second term here at the Gonzales County Courthouse. This is a J. Riley Garden Courthouse. J. Riley Garden was a very famous architect. The courthouse was built in the 18, late 1800s. Uh, it was budgeted for $65,000, and it actually came in under bid at $64,000 and some change. The courthouse is said to be quite haunted and we'd make our way all the way up to the bell tower. I was not really big or believing in anything in supernatural. Till I come to work here, and then things started happening that I couldn't explain, and I actually witnessed. And I believe that the, the ghost that haunts this courthouse is, is a guy by the name of Albert Howard. Albert Howard was tried and convicted for assault and sentenced to death by hanging. His last words were to show my innocence that the courthouse clock will never keep correct time again. And when he was hung and put to death in 1921, they started beginning having trouble with the clock. And to this day, we still have trouble with the clock. It's been re redone, reworked, it still continues to happen. Now I see why he loves his job. <laughs> Another museum is in the Gonzales Library, and it's a huge collection of guns and wartime artifacts you wouldn't expect to find in a library. There are over 500 items in this collection. We have a, a Republic of Texas, 1816, probably the biggest privately owned gun collection in Texas, if not the United States. It's they also have a lot of historic documents housed in the library, and there were several ladies there that have been longtime residents of Gonzales and are docents that are very knowledgeable about what Gonzales has and the history of the town. We stayed a few days in Gonzales and were fortunate enough to experience some amazing restaurants, and we still didn't get to all of them that we were told were great. 
Doug and Dave Durham are partners in renovating the local Lynn Theater. The theater is also said to be haunted. We all got together and we're, we're trying to save this theater because it's a great place for movies, live music venues, things like that. This is actually, this room here is interesting. It's a crying room. So if a, a lady's child is crying or whatever, they could bring them here and close them off so that it wouldn't disturb the people in the theater. Nice. There's one on each side. There's supposedly a female ghost. We haven't seen her, but the previous owner saw the ghost sitting on the stairs. Really? It's closing one night and saw the ghost sitting there. And then she turned around to look and the ghost was gone. Or had disappeared. They also shared some video from their security system that shows lots of supernatural activity. So the security cameras picked up, I would just say, one large orb. Maybe 30 minutes later, the camera was going crazy. So the camera was picking up orbs coming from that direction. It looked like a kid was running down the aisle, but it was an orb. So it was like bouncing as it went down the aisle. Wow. And you welcome everybody, including ghosts. Yes. <laughs> Everyone. All right. Everybody's welcome. After that, I took a trip to Crystal Theater, a historic performing arts theater in Gonzales, and I stopped by to visit. Papa, let's try that again. Sorry, don't call. Oh, father. Papa. Father. I really like Shakespeare, and this was just like the gateway to it all, and it was so much fun. It's really fun to meet new people, make friends, and actually learn a lot about theater and Shakespeare, and it's really fun. I love that they have an artist who drew caricatures of the various plays that the theater has put on over the years. Okay, pretty Izzy's dog grooming. Here we are for the final, the result here. Thank you so much for getting uh, Winston and Hannah in at last minute. And let's see what they look like. They were great. Oh, wow, look at you two. Now you do look like big stars, YouTube stars. You did a fantastic Thank you. job. Come on, baby. I can't say enough about how great. Oh, Hannah, you look so pretty. Yeah, nice kisses. Okay, guys, well, you wanna go for a walk? Thanks, Shelby. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Red. You guys have been great. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We stopped by a few other restaurants like the Gonzales Bistro. It's a 85-seat restaurant. Wine Spectator Magazine Award-winning uh, wine list. People drive over 100 miles to come here and eat. I love fine food, and so I come to the Bistro like nothing else in Gonzales. We love this place. I love the ambiance. The food was amazing. The service was great. So. We'll definitely be back. My favorite things have been the escargot. I love the octopus. We've had such a great time and certainly can't wait to be back. All right, I am at King's Service Center. They've been here since 1940. And when we got into town, we had a flat tire. And I was told King's is the place to go. It was just a block down from where we're staying. And in no time at all, King's Service Station fixed our flat tire. It's a station that checks your oil, fluid levels, windshield wipers, while they pump your gas for you. And it's all included in the price of the gas. It's free. That's the way it used to be back in the day. We spoke with Mrs. King about the history of King's. I'm Marianne King. This is King's Service Station in Gonzales, Texas. It's been on this corner since 1951. I've been with them about 25, 30 years, wow. maybe longer, because they do a real good job. <laughs> okay, Ms. Gloria. Hey, we'll see you later, okay? Okay, okay. Thank okay. you very much. All right. All, All right. right. Say hello to the witches, huh? Yes, ma'am. All right. They're very helpful, and you don't find a gas station like this around here anymore. That's why a lot of people come here. Hi, I'm Marlene Sullivan. I am the director here at the Gonzales Memorial Museum. We are the home of the Come and Take Cannon. As the unrest in Texas started happening against Santa Ana and his government, Santa Ana started recalling these weapons and Gonzalez was one of the very first ones that said no. And thanks to this little act of rebellion, we became our own country and later a state. 
Travis was looking for help for the Alamo because they were very, very, very outnumbered. So this letter actually showed up in Gonzales. And that's where the Immortal 32 make their presence because they are the 32 men, the only men to answer Travis's call for help to the Alamo. Something a lot of people get a kick out of is the old amputation kit. Like they freak out. <laughs> Always come hang out and we look forward to seeing you. There's some unique stores in town. We took a little tour of a antique and memorabilia store that's been there for a long time. The owner showed me around a little bit. Now, this building was built in 1888. One of the last dinosaurs in old Gonzales itself. We run an emporium here. It's important we just sell anything from old Coca-Cola collectibles to old records to all kind of ins and outs of what we call it an emporium. It's a little bit of everything. When it was originally built, they had to come through the back door only. It's kind of a sign of a brothel. <laughs> anyway, we're on the old Confederate Square in downtown Gonzales, a big old stone rock building that's advertising on the sign and go back to one of the original founders, and it's pretty neat. Then we stop by the Alcaldi Hotel. This historic hotel was visited by Elvis during a performance he had. He took a little rest before the concert. And Bonnie and Clyde made an escape out of the side window on the second floor of this hotel. Hi, I'm Maggie Wills. I'm the manager of the Acaldi Hotel here in Gonzales, Texas. It was built in 1926. We've had a few people from history walk into this hotel. Elvis came, and that was in room 301. Bonnie and Clyde were here also, and the law found out that they were here, and they found out about it, and of course, jumped out the second story window onto an orange blossom tree out in the alleyway and got away. And so the hotel will celebrate its 100 year anniversary in 2026. The Alcaldi Hotel is just off of the square. We actually have a trap door in the kitchen and underneath there is a huge room where gentlemen from the community would come to play poker and drink alcohol, which they shouldn't have been doing at that point in time in history. We also visited J.B. Wells Park. It's a huge local park that is home to the Texas Junior High School Rodeo State Final, which is a big deal in Gonzales and a big deal in Texas. J.B. Wells Park Arena and Expo also hosts many other events throughout the year, and they have 442 RV hookups on this 169-acre park. It was time for lunch, and we were told about Baker Boy's Barbecue. We talked to one of the family members that own the restaurant to get their story. We are a full-service barbecue joint, so we'll be celebrating nine years here next week, actually. We also offer catering services as well. We've been named twice in the um, Texas Monthly Top 50 Barbecue Joint, which is a huge honor and something we're incredibly proud of. We're looking forward to everyone to come and taste it. Then we went to a community center that was once a school that was only for black students during segregation. We met with the man behind the community center. He was once a student there himself. I went to school here until 1965. The Edwards Association took on the efforts of restoring the property. And now it's a usable community center. I have a deep passion for this school and the desire to make sure that it remained an uh, integral part of the community of Gonzales so that we could be able to show some of the black history here in the town of Gonzales. Winston, Hannah, and myself took a little walk on both town squares. Gonzales has two town squares. Texas wouldn't be Texas if it didn't have more of everything. And Gonzales is no exception to the more is better rule Texas lives by. The birthplace Texas independence is actually right here in Gonzales, Texas. It wasn't until the next day that I took a trip to a hidden gym that's outside of town. River Acres RV Park is located about 10 miles out in the country, right off 90, and they offer access to the Guadalupe River. And the RV spots are not far away. I talked to the owner and he told me more about the park. This RV park, which is River Acres RV Park, we have developed it from 
five units, cabins, and five RVs to 61 sites in total now. Full hookups, full sewer hookups, uh, high-speed internet, etc. But one of the most interesting elements about our park is our waterfront, which is along the Guadalupe River. And it's very pristine. We're the only public access point for 35 miles upriver. Excellent fishing, great for canoeing, and kayaking, and paddle boarding. Very pet friendly. It's a relatively quiet place. Nice, peaceful, uh, lots of trees, and really quiet, nice little place to bring the family, bring three or four families if you're like having a family reunion type thing or something, have access to the river, can fish and swim and have a good time. A consistent comment is, yes, it's a hidden gem and we don't want to tell others about it because <laughs> we like it being almost our own when we come and visit. So when you come down to the waterfront, it's almost all yours. We're an hour from Austin, an hour from San Antonio, two hours from Houston. We have a lot of opportunity here. We also value our industries and our businesses who've chosen to grow here. Three counties of Gonzales, Lavaca, and DeWitt is one of the largest centralized cow-calf populations in the country. So we're very, very fortunate to be in this part of the world. In 2023, we actually handled 43,000 rail car movements at this location. TXG is very proud to be a member and a, and a partner, and a part of this community here in Gonzales. Uh, even our locomotives, our locomotives are branded with the Come and Take It flag to represent Gonzales. For a small town, they have a lot of really cool things to offer in Gonzales. We even got a new logo and a t-shirt made for Roads to Adventure while we were in town. How random is that? These people here at Blackbird Creations are amazing. And this is Candace oh my and gosh. Jim Bot. Hey. These are the artists behind this. I'm kind of liking it. Roads to Adventure. And they did it like real fast. Thank you, Blackbird Creations. Bye. Thank you, guys. After that amazing visit, I stopped by the cattle auction barn that's home to the Cow Palace Restaurant. This is the best place to eat in town. This place is packed every week. Cows are a big deal in Texas, and they are a big, big deal in Gonzales. While we were in Gonzales, we stayed at Laurel Ridge B&B with rooms decked out in antique furnishings that's located above a really amazing antique gift store. I was able to catch up with Barbara Crozier, the owner who gave me a bit of a tour. It's an interesting place. It's not just an inn. It is also an antique shop and a wonderful specialty shop and a home to many, many people. I have people tell me all the time that this is the only place they've ever stayed where they just feel like they brought home with them. I love coming to Gonzales and I shop a lot of the antique stores and one of my favorite is this one. I love talking about the uh, antique jewelry because it's wearable history that I actually work with and design. Here's a Santa Claus with a pinata in one hand and a bottle of tequila in the other. Maybe that's why Santa Claus did not visit me. He was drinking down in Mexico and lost my address. The Christmas was kind of in the corners right now, but in September we began to festoon the place. And you would not, I'll send you some pictures when you get home yeah. of what the place looks like then, because we are literally dripping with Christmas. The Crepes Restaurant is where you eat if you stay at the Laurel Ridge B&B. They give you a certificate for breakfast. Barbara showed me the church that she goes to, which was just recently restored and has amazing architecture. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it's a beautiful interior. There are so many historic locations, lots of churches in town to see as well. Barbara even gave me a tour of her home, which is one of the many historic homes in Gonzales. Well, hi, Brett. Come on in. Hey, Barbara. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for the generous invitation. To well, come you're house. so welcome, self welcome. We wanted you to be able to see the interior of one of these historic homes. And I do love my husband's man cave. That was built in the 1900s, too. Oh, and look, Bentley's bringing you his favorite toy. Oh, Bentley! Hey, Bentley! Nice to meet you! And there's toys all over the living room because he drags every stuffed animal in the house and puts it wherever he wants to put it. 
Well, we're passionate about about history, so mm -hmm. we're passionate about these houses, the beauty, the you know, just the detail that you don't see, and you cannot replicate it because you can't get that wood anymore. Well, thank you, Barbara, so much. What a great tour. Oh, well, it was kind of a brief one, but we wanted to keep it short and yeah, well, let you see in the interior of one of these houses. I also want to show you another B&B. It happens to be owned by a couple of twin brothers who are also involved in restoring the Lynn Theater in town. Both locations are said to be haunted. Very colorful, very unique, a very historic building from what I understand. Well, hello. Hi, Brett. Hey, how's, how's it going? going? How's Welcome it going? to the St. James event for breakfast. The house was built for the Coconut family in 1914. It's 8,500 square feet. Oh, look at that. You can just program in whatever you want. On, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's a bunch of different uh, functions. Yeah, Gonzales is known for its ghosts. What about here? Previous owner, um, we bought the house and everything and signed all the paperwork and then they said, oh, we have something for you. And they showed us this book. Well, we're the first house in there. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're number one. We've had some fun experiences with our friendly ghosts and this house is definitely have some spirits. We had um, somebody there staying in this room. Something happened in the middle of the night where a voice said, um, what are you doing in my daughter's bedroom? Wow. I pretty much left. We do our best to make sure that their their Thank stay you, is a five-star stay. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've ever, we've never had a four-star review. It's always been five-star. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Also, there's a distillery, the Old San Antonio Distillery, that offers some of the best rum you'll find in Texas. Thank you so much for being here. Immortal 32 is rum, 100% Texas product. We got the molasses from Rio Grande Valley. We will be really happy to see you here. The small town hospitality is alive and well in Gonzales, and you just may not want to leave. Love Gonzales. We've got a lot of exciting things going on in Gonzales and some of the greatest history in Texas. It's a hidden gem. I'm surprised that not more people know about Gonzales because it is the birthplace of Texas. I just like the hometown hospitality, the people. The people are so great here. It's a small town, but it's growing. Gonzales is my home and uh, I love Gonzales a lot. We have a lot to offer and we invite you to come and take it. Come and take it! We are sad to say farewell to Gonzales and look forward to our return. Next week we'll visit Hallettsville, which is another amazing community located on US 90A. We really appreciate you and thank you for watching Roads to Adventure. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Best of America, and choose notifications so you are the first to see our latest videos. Plus, we have over 1,500 other videos of great destinations all over the U.S. from our Best of America series you can check out. We look forward to seeing you next time on Roads to Adventure.